Hey everybody, look on the screen, look on the screen. Beautiful couple, beautiful girl with a husband. I'm assuming they have a business in the ATL called The Plug. Trying to build something. Building a business is not an easy thing to do. Oh, it's not. To get it going. Not just the money, the sweat equity. Working, working, laboring, you may not get paid. You don't start a business and just think, oh, I'm going to have a check in two weeks. You just might. It doesn't always happen that way. I always say on the channel, the dusty, the dust buckets, the dust stealers, and the mammies, that they are a problem. They are. Move them all out of Chicago tonight. Move. I hate to say it. If you were to take, let's just say Chicago, oh, and Houston is on the list too. My gosh. Let's just say um, Chicago, for example. Move 70 to 80% of the young black males out of the city and take their mammies and baby mamas and their offspring with them. Let's put them all on Mars or Jupiter for 30 days. And then see what happens. Seriously. Just take them all. For 30 days, out of Chicago, out of the whole state of Illinois, 70 to 80 percent. See what would happen. Now, on Mars, it's going to be uh, some problems. It'll probably be a problem before they even got up, so they probably start fighting up in the spaceship, child, knock it out. <laughs> oh, Lord. It, it, it would be fighting on the spaceship, I'm telling you. It would be so much, uh, oh, it, it would be unbelievable. Even with gravity, they'll still be trying to fight and kill each other. A few good ones will have to suffer. But yeah, just take 70 or 80% uh, out of the city of Illinois, out of Chicago, the suburban areas. Just take them out and put them on a different planet just for 30 days. Well, you don't want to do that, even if it were possible. Maybe in a world of chimerical, it would be great. But then if you do that, then you realize, oh my gosh climbing down. Wow, people can actually walk down the street. Children can watch TV, read books, do their homework, eat ice cream without being shot in the head by a stray bullet. You can go out to dinner, are you kidding me? And not get mugged, beaten. Someone follow you home and rob you. The flip side is, if you were to do that, guess what will happen? They might not go back and pick them up when it's time. For, when the experiment is over, they probably leave them there. <laughs> when the experiment is over, they probably leave them. Mm -hmm, leave them there. And then they would realize, oh, we got a problem. A small segment of the population got a lot of trauma going on. Then you want to talk about... Then at, the, at that pace, you probably could build a block. You probably could have more black businesses. Yeah, because don't forget, you're taking the dust buckets, you're taking their old evil baby mama with them, the IODs, their old mammoths, you're taking them all with them. They wouldn't be robbing the business, asking for something for free, a discount, and if you don't give them something free, I'm going to get online, don't bet about your business. Oh, very good, they love to destroy. Maybe if he would do that, what happened to this business wouldn't have happened. So why is this nice couple, especially the lady, this beautiful girl on the screen? Why is she on 11 Alive? Let's check it out. Fair use. This is what the hood will do. When you try to do something, you try to improve your life, you try to build. This is what the hood will do to you. Especially if it looks like them, if you're dipped in brown. This is how more than likely it's going down. All new tonight, one Atlanta couple is asking for answers after they say thieves stole nearly $100,000 worth of their production equipment. Charlene and Khalif Legend run the Plug ATL, a production group here in the Metro. They say young men came in Thursday and swiped 10 cameras and all their high-end production equipment, according to their surveillance. Their company runs programs to help underserved youth build careers in production. Tonight, though, they say they are at a loss for words. And it's just such a heart wrenching situation to me that there is no winner in this. You no, know, there's there isn't. kids that are trying to shoot some some content 
right? They're trying to upgrade their game. They're trying to get their hustle. And we don't ever knock that, but there's so many better ways to do it, especially with a company that gives so much back to the community. So you see, they're trying to give back to the community, not teach them how to sell drugs. No, 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 no. Not how to do that. Give back to the community. And this is what they get from some of the people in the community. And you wonder why nobody's coming for the BC. You wonder why. You wonder why. They're trying to investigate. They're trying to invest in everybody, even the immigrants gonna get a chance, but not Blackistan. Oh no, no, no. Here, here's why. I keep telling you. The Dusties and their mammies, they are a problem. You think it's, oh, that's just so, so, those kids. You're setting a precedent, setting a precedent of destruction. So this right here, all the time, the hard work and the money spent, look what happens. Thanks to the dust mites. This is why no one wants to invest in them. So this here, I, they did say that they had insurance, but you do understand that's going to be a lot of expensive equipment and the insurance may pay. Guess what? It may not pay dollar for dollar. Because things do depreciate. Is it brand new? How old is it? All that comes into effect. And then you may look up. Don't be surprised. I may start to reevaluate things. Oh, it's a black business. It's in a black area of town. Oh, this happened. It could happen again. Next thing you know, it could get to the point the insurance rate goes through the roof. Next thing you know, it could be you're not renewed. Next thing you know, it's not insured, but you can't afford it. Welcome to the BC. They destroy their own economy. I keep telling you, they destroy their own economy. This is what they do. Blackistan. Look at all the time and money spent. Anyway, this right here. So, so much for Bill the Block. In my opinion, child, Bill the Block. With me, that's going to be, I think, not. I, I just can't. It's not worth dealing with. Blackistan. Escape if you can. And I'm out.